Hello everybody, uh, MCG here. I'm back with another vlog uh, for October 3rd, 2011. And, uh, well, there's not really much to talk about today. But uh, actually, um, <clears throat> in this vlog I'm going to talk about how I, f my feelings about the Saturday meet that we had. Um, it was down in University Place, but everybody said, says that it was in Tacoma. Because um, University Place is so close to Tacoma that you don't even know, you can't even tell the difference. So t basically, this meet was in Tacoma, but it was actually in this you know small town called University Place, which is east of Tacoma. And it was a, it was actually a pretty long drive there. It's like I had to get up at 5:30 in the morning, and then I had to be at my school at 6:25, and then we left at 6:30, and we actually because it was a two-hour drive there, we had be there by 8.30, so, yeah, it's a two-hour drive from my school, so it wasn't that fun, but on the bright side, I, well, I was, I should have been sleeping on the bus, but the problem is, is that, um, is what, um, I was actually, um, the thing about me is, the biggest problem that I have when it comes to sleeping is that I'm a very light sleeper, so, you know, um, if I, if I wake up, the the first time I ever wake up, I'm never going back to sleep again, ever. Trust me, I'm just I'm that bad of a sleeper. Sleeper, okay. It's the biggest problem that I have. Is if I wake up once in the morning, like early in the morning, no matter what time it is, I'm I'm awake for the rest of the day. I just I can't get back to sleep. It's either you know you're asleep or you're just, you're awake for the next. Uh, 12 hours or so, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, I was, <clears throat> so anyways, it was a two-hour drive, and I should have been able to get, get some more sleep, but now that you guys know my, see, my thing about sleeping, that pretty much, that explains it all, I couldn't sleep at all, so, um, <clears throat> so what I did was I, I just wore some headphones and listened to music all the way. And uh, at the same time, while I was listening to music, I was also playing my 3DS. And that reminds me, I still need to make a uh, make a review on my Multiclassic Gamer account. But, uh, I'm sorry it's been taking a while to do that. Um, it I know it's not really that hard to make a review of a 3DS. I mean, I've done it several times before. I made a Nintendo DSi XL review, and that was an unboxing review, and somebody came, at, came onto the video and trolled on it. But I, I just don't care about trolling anymore. You know, if I see any trolling on my channel anymore, I'll just... I mean, anywhere in my videos, for that matter, I'll just block the person and delete the comment, alright? So, if your troll's watching this, you might as well stay the hell off of my channel because I'm not going to put up with trolls anymore. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I'm just... I'm really sick of people trolling on my channel. It's just... There's really no point in doing that. If you don't like the video, then don't watch it. That's That's the way it is, alright? But, uh... So yeah, it was a two hour drive there, and I just listened to music the whole time, played my 3DS. Um, like I said, the only games I, game I have for right now is Star Fox 64 3D. But, you know, in time I'll probably get some more games for it. I don't have any official DSi games for my DSi XL, but everyone knows there's not a lot of DSi XL games out there. Um, geez, the camera stopped there for a second, I was... It was out of memory from the SD card. Are you recording? Okay, I guess you are, but... Yeah, don't ever stop recording ever again. Well, actually, it's kind of a good thing that I stopped right there because... I just... I, I was actually in, in the middle of an awkward pause because I didn't know what else to say. But anyways, it was a two-hour drive, and then when we finally got there, um... We, um... Well, it's kind of hard to explain what the place looked like. It was called uh, Chambers Creek... Properties? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's, a, it's basically just a golf course. But uh, trust me, um, it looks anything like a golf course. Anything but like a golf course, yeah. It's like you get there and you have this road that goes down and it goes down like right next to this really steep, huge wall. It's like a canyon kind of, but it, it's kind of hard to explain. It, those of you who live in Tacoma probably know what I'm talking about if you've been to Chambers Creek Properties. Um, 
it's kind of hard to explain, but you, you like, you're driving down this huge wall of, of rock or whatever. But, yeah, like I said, it's kind of like a canyon, but, and I was worried that I was actually going to have to run up that as part of the, as part of the course during the race. I'm like, dude, there's no way that's going to happen. But, uh, no, thankfully it's not part of the course. Because, yeah, that would just be killer. That would be a little too intense for high schoolers. But, uh, <clears throat> keep saying, but, uh, but, uh, pfft, I gotta stop doing that. Anyways, um, let's see, so I got, we got there, and then, like always, we set up our tent and everything. Uh, you know how cross country runners and just, um, cross country and track runners, whenever they get to a meet, they always set up a tent to put their stuff in so nobody can steal it or whatever. But after that, we did a warm up run and or whatever. And then finally, um, my race is at 9.30 or so. And the race, for the most part, for me, it went pretty well. You know, it's a 5K race, which is not like 90% of our races are 5Ks, which is 3 miles. 5K means 5,000 meters, not 5,000 miles, as some, as some people say. It's not that crazy. And so, um, yeah, I, I have mixed feelings for my, for my race in particular that day. Um, the biggest problem that I have with that race that day is that, um, that day my allergies were acting up for no reason. You know, all you people know about how I was complaining about how I had to constantly use a this is way back in July, by the way. Well, actually not. I wouldn't say way back, because it was this year. But this year in July, remember how, um, when I did those, uh, Let's Play videos of Super Mario Sunshine and, uh, Barnyard, how, um, in the, like, early July around that time, I was, like, complaining about my allergies. Oh, I was, like, going, uh, oh, I hate my voice. It, like, sounds all nasally. Well, that's what hap that's what's been happening lately, is they've been coming, they've been, they've been coming back. I don't know why they suddenly came back. They usually, they only affect me during the spring and summer, but, you know, they didn't, they didn't actually start until July anyway, so, if they're going to start earlier, they're probably going to end later, but after, once it got into, like, August or so, my allergies practically went away for a while, and now they're suddenly back in, starting, like, last week, I think. Yeah, last Sunday is, like, when they started, and... I don't know what's causing them to come back. I I don't really know exactly what I'm allergic to. I I'm pretty sure that yeah, I'm ninety percent sure that it's the it's all this stuff that flies around the air. It's the pollen or dust or whatever it's called. Um well actually I know that it's called pollen, the stuff that's in the air that the flowers throw up in the air. But you would think that, um on a rain rainy day like it was at the meat you you think they wouldn't be affecting me that much, but yeah, I, I don't know what the problem was. I I just um whenever my nose comes in, whenever I come into contact with uh, stuff like that, um basically what happens is um <clears throat> um it's pretty much it's always different what will happen. Sometimes I just get a sore throat mainly. Other times uh, my nose will just run. But actually, ninety percent of the time it's my nose that's Act, that acts up. It starts like running like crazy. Like, um, I know what I'm about to say is really disgusting, but I'm gonna have to say in order to explain it. But, um, in the middle of the race, my nose was so stuffed, stu so stuffed with snot. It was like overflowing, like it, it just wanted to come out. It's like my nose is like begging to be, you know, blown. I know that sounds disturbing, but yeah, my nose just felt like it really needed that. So, um, so I I, I pinched one not one of my nostrils, and then I I just like just a this is just a light blow blow my nose, and uh, the thing is, you can blow your nose during the race, but you're just gonna have to in order to blow your nose, you have, like have to uh, pinch one of your nostrils and then. Just blow. But, uh... <clears throat> oh, there we go again. I'm saying, but, uh... Is that my catchphrase for this channel? I guess so. 
But uh, anyways, um, I just, I barely blew my nose for a second. And next thing you know, my entire face, my entire face in particular, is just flooded. Within moments, it's flooded with so much snot. It's like a waterfall. I know it's, it's kind of, I know it's really gross the way that I'm explaining this, but it's, this is exactly what happened. My entire face was covered in snot. And you have no idea. Well, actually, maybe you do. If you're anyone like me, then you know exactly how embarrassing that was for me. So you can see how how frustrated I was that my nose was doing that in the middle of a cross-country race. It could have been the best race of my life. But the no my nose just practically ruined it. Well, not my nose, but my allergies. So basically, my allergies practically ruined the entire race for me. But the strange thing is, is that um, when I went, to, when I finally reached the finish line at the end of the race, at the end of the 5K, um, you know how they have this timer at the end of, at the finish line to tell you what time that you ended the race off, and I didn't even care what time what my race was. I expected to have such a horrible time on, at the end of my race. Um, so I went to my tent and I was like, I was so pissed off because of my allergies. I, I just, I was just so furious. I was like, I was cussing and everything. I was like, showing like, you know, fucking stuff. I, I apologize for, for strong language there. But that's just how bad it was. I was like, I was just saying like, fuck this shit and whatever. It was just, I was so pissed off, I couldn't take it. You know, my allergies practically ruined what could have been the best race of my life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you understand what that is. If you're a distance runner like me and you have allergies like that, they're minor, but they are so annoying, especially when they happen when you're trying to, you're trying to accomplish something, you're trying to accomplish a, be a good race and everything. But no, my allergies practically ruined the entire race for me. And I was so pissed off at my like, saying, fuck this shit, fuck that race, fuck everybody. It was just, it was that bad. But, the strange thing is, on that day, I actually set a personal record, which is what PR stands for. So, if I ever say PR, that's what it stands for, it means personal record. It means, like, I, that was the fastest 5K I ever did. And I was like, what the hell? That was... My allergies practically ruined the entire race, and I swear to God, I, I slowed down at the last mile because of my allergies, and I had nothing left, and you know, um, in almost 90% of my other races, I always sprint at the end of the race because I always had something left at the end, and I wanted to throw all that out just by sprinting to the end of the finish line, which is what all distance runners learn to do, is to sprint at the end of the race, because they save up some just a little bit of energy at the end, to let it all out at the end. You always have something left at the end of the race. Well, I had nothing left because I couldn't breathe because my entire nose was, there was just so much snot, I just couldn't breathe through all that. So I was so pissed off, but in the end, I actually, it turns out I PR by 30 seconds. I was like, what the hell? 30 seconds is actually big. That's a huge difference in timing. I was like, ugh. How did I do that? I don't. I just don't know. I don't. I don't know. I know this has been a very long video, but well, I still got a lot more to talk about. But it's not much, all right. So you get the idea. I have mixed feelings about the race. My allergies practically ruined it. But at the same time, I PR'd somehow. I don't know how it happened, but it did. You know, I'll never understand why, but... I'm hoping... Actually, okay, I'll, I'll say my time. My time was a 20... Was it 20, uh... 2016? Yeah, 20 minutes and 16 seconds. So that's my fastest 5K as of today. Well, as of Saturday, actually. And I have another cross-country meet on Thursday. And it's going to be in Everett. And this time, 
I'm going for under 20 minutes. So I'm hoping I can actually do that. But uh, that's going to be it for this vlog. So thank you for watching everyone. See you next vlog. Bye. MCG.